Just for us on the video, the first comment is going to be winning themselves a Dragon Hunter mystery box, so congrats to everyone on that, but the main prize is going to be 5 raid mystery boxes. Now these go for around $15 each, so that's a lot of money, there's going to be 5 separate winners, so to be entered for that, all you have to do is just leave a like on this video, be subscribed to my channel with notifications on, and comment your game name on Sohanscape. That's pretty much all you have to do to be entered, so good luck in that giveaway, and I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. What is going on guys and welcome back to Sohanscape. So, it's been about just over a week since the release and I'm not gonna lie, it's doing really well. We currently have more players online than the release and today is Sunday by the way, so we actually had 320 players online earlier, which I believe was our peak player count. So the server is doing really well at the moment. Like, if you walk around everywhere, you can see that it's really active. Like, there's probably people gambling the gambles in right now. There's probably a few people thieving right now to make some star cash. And there's a lot of people at the main bank at home. So yeah, I just want to say that the release has gone really well, which I'm really happy about. So if you check the forums, I actually made a little post-release announcement, which I will link in the description below as well. But yeah, basically you can see that we hit 325 players online on Sunday, which is absolutely amazing. And like I said, there's literally 100 more players than we had on the release. So it shows that our community is really enjoying the server and wants to stick around, which is fantastic. We're also planning to release voting really soon. So keep an eye on the announcements in Discord. And we're planning to host like a voting event as well. So we're trying to rank as high as possible on the top list to push our player count even further because top lists are a really good source of advertising and you guys can also help us advertise by telling your friends about the server, putting our websites your custom discord status by doing that or just sending out invite links to your friends. And this is just the beginning guys, like we haven't even properly started advertising yet, like we have still yet to use Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Snapchat ads, YouTube ads and Google ads as well, like mainly the only advertisement we've used is getting other YouTubers to make videos, including myself of course. So really big things are coming to Soyanscape very soon. And as well as that, like the developers have been working day and night since we released and we've released so many updates, which I will show in a bit. And I'm pretty confident in saying that Soyanscape has one of the best development teams out there. As you can see, we have a team of seven really capable developers. And we're also planning to do content polls on the Discord this week for all upcoming updates once we finish fixing all the bugs. And last of all, there's currently a 20% discount code and that's only available until the 2nd of January. So I believe that's gonna be today when this video is uploaded. So make sure you get in on that if you haven't already. But yeah, as you you can see we've released so many updates in such a short period of time and one of our latest updates was one of our biggest ones so we actually released high scores and the launcher is now cross compatible so it works with mac linux and windows of course and loads of bugs have been fixed like we released 4 cat we fixed like the majority of the theater of blood and james azaric bug we fixed so many other bugs as well so yeah the server is doing really well at the moment and the high scores are fully functional at the moment like you can select whatever attack style and you can choose your game mode etc and the experience mode and it all does fully work However, we are in the works of reskinning the high scores to match the websites as you can see like this is what it should look like in comparison to what it originally looks like so it's gonna look a lot better than that eventually, trust me. But yeah guys, if you do want to get started out on the server, I will link my starter guide in the description below like I did make a really detailed video on how you can get started out on the server and to make some like starter cash so go check that out if you haven't already and you do want to try out the server which I do definitely recommend like we've got so many big updates coming. But yeah, other than that, a lot of you guys have been PMing me asking when I'm gonna make a video of opening the boxes on the donator store because people are really curious to see like what kind of loot you can get if you open like a bulk amount of them so I'm gonna open up 50 of pretty much every single box located in the store so first off let's start with the dragon hunter boxes so I believe these are actually the cheapest one out of our store they're only like eight dollars each at the moment so let's see what we can get from them all right first inventory Pagasian crystal berserkering and a sarad omen god sword well we're getting pretty decent loot so far so it guarantees to give us some cash basically which is pretty nice we just got ranger boots what the hell there's like a really rare reward from a medium clue scroll so that's pretty nice serpentine helm primordial crystal all right armadillo crossbow this actually gives some really good loot not gonna lie uncharged toxic trident as well jesus all right on to the next inventory so I, I think i just got two items in one actually the abyssal dagger necklace vanish bandos tacit so yeah this can give you some really good osiris items essentially a lot of best in slots here so damn these are actually pretty overpowered not gonna lie ranger boots Bandos gods. We just got an Eldermore. What the hell? I think that's our first one. And our second pair of Tassets as well. All right. Well, that is some really good loot. Only 16 left. Let's see what we can get from these ones. We just got a Tanzanite Helm, Armadillo Crossbow, and like two mil cash from one of them. That's actually crazy. All right. Trident and Tassets. Goddamn. Armadillo Chestplate. All right. We've only got eight boxes to go. Dude, even though these are the cheapest ones, they might be some of the best ones you can get. Armadillo Chainskirt, another Magma Helm, and the final one. What the hell? We just got a pet rude dragon. I don't know why it comes up as null, but damn, that actually looks sick, dude. We literally got that from the last box as well. Dude, that actually looks so cool. All right. 
Damn, not bad. So in total, this is all the loot that we pretty much got from that, so not too bad whatsoever. I think I might put the rest in a new tab. Let's open the infernal boxes up next. Oh, we just got an infernal key. Purple fire cave mixes. So I think the majority of this loot is like infernal cave mixes and fire cave mixes, so I will probably use all of these on fire caves and infernal caves just to show what they look like, but cyan fire caves mix, purple infernal mix. All right. Oh shit, we just got Zilliana's longbow. Okay, that's actually one of the best weapons in game. I cannot believe I just got that. Like, the only thing better than that is the infernal bow. And the only thing better than an infernal bow is a twisted bow. So yeah, that is actually insanely right there. God damn, I did not expect to be getting one of those. Jesus. All right, 5k bigs. <laughs> the people who donated the mid battle boxes must be so mad that they didn't get one because holy shit, we just got another one, dude. Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god. What? Dude, there's no way we're getting this lucky. Oh my god. We literally just got like three of these bows within like 10 bucks. Okay, bro, I'm just gonna stop talking. I literally just can't stop getting them. These infernal boxes are so overpowered, dude. Holy shit. We still have like another 18 more to go as well. We've had four god bows in 32 boxes. Like, those go for a shit ton of money in game as well. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another one in this inventory. Come on. Oh, we're just getting mixes, dude. Come on. Give me at least one more god bow. Oh, <laughs> right as I said it, dude. We get another one. Oh my god. All right, five boxes left. Can we pull out one more is the question. Another infernal key. Two boxes left. And the last one, an infernal key. All right. Well, five longbows in 50 boxes. That's like a one in 10 chance of getting it, roughly. I don't know if I just got really lucky, but yeah, not too bad. All right, so like I said, I will show up for all this fire cape mixes look like. So let's start off with a purple infernal cape. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, this is the green infernal cape. And finally, my favorite one, the blue infernal cape. Like, this one actually looks sick. And it does have the same stats as the regular infernal cape, of course. It just looks a lot better. Now to the fire cape. So, the green fire cape, red fire cape. I mean, that's what the fire cape should look like instead of orange, to be honest. That looks fucking awesome. The cyan fire cape and the purple fire capes. So, yeah, these all look pretty cool. All right, and now onto the Sohanscape mystery boxes. So these are also worth around ten dollars each. And I forgot to mention the infernal boxes are also around ten dollars each. So yeah, these are basically the same price, and they do have their own little interface when you open them as well. So probably won't be commentating over them, but yeah, let's start opening these boxes. So you can get some really cool stuff like Dominion weapons. You can get Tekton armor, Krill armor, party hats. Like you can get some insane loot from these. And I forgot to mention you can also quick open them if you don't want to go through that animation just by right clicking them so shit we just got a dragon hunter crossbow dude <laughs> maybe i should oh my god all right i might just click over these to be fair toxic blowpipe that literally goes for around like 30 dollars in the store so that's a really good thing to get some blood money so obviously you can get unlucky 80 superior bones not bad guthans plate body so a lot of these you can just get barra's armor if you get unlucky unfortunately damn dragon kite shield though not too bad all right, another inventory. Let's see if we can pull out anything from this one. I think what I'm going to do is like the last one of each inventory. I'll just spin it like manually and see if we can get anything good. Oh, Ranger Boots. Nice. We've got more superior Dragon Bones. <laughs> dragon Kite Shield. Archer's Rig. Oh, Eternal Crystals. Not bad. Zamora Godsword. Kind of useless. Oh, we got an Infernal Box. <laughs> I got another Infernal Key from that. What the hell? Dude, I'm just waiting to get like a Krill Armor Piece or a Tekton Armor Piece because that would be fucking awesome if we got one of those. Because that set literally goes for around like $400 in the store, so that's really expensive. Alright, Band of Sassets, alright, nice. Second to last one, some PKP tickets, and let's just spin the last one. Come on, give us something good, please. Oh, there's a pet Drake in there. Dude, these, these Krill Armor sets look so cool as well. Oh, Tekton, please. No! <laughs> we were so close, dude. Alright, Morrigan's leather body, not too bad. Alright, we still have nine boxes left to go. Come on, we have yet to get a custom armor piece. Give me one. Alright, five boxes left. It's not looking too good here. Armador Crossway, okay, not bad. Morgan's Leather Chaps and the last Sohenscape mystery box that we have. Can we pull out anything good? Come on. You can get a Justicia Longsword as well, which is a really overpowered weapon. Come on! Oh my god, we we're in the middle of Tekton Gloves and Krill. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That would have been so nice to get. Alright, so next up we're going to open up the Infernal Keys. And these are also the same price as the Infernal Boxes and the Soyanscape Boxes. They're around $10 each in the store. Although I guess they're currently $8 because of the 20% discount. But to open these, you have to run all the way south of the home to this Infernal Chest located over here. So all you have to do is just use them. And I believe the rarest things you can get from these are Infernal Weapons. And you can also get Soyanscape Mystery Boxes and God Bows as well. We've got another Soyanscape Box, Morrigan Leather Chaps, not bad. Right, you can't- oh my god. 
We just got Infernal, bro, dude. Did he not even announce that? <laughs> we just got a fucking Infernal, bro. Holy shit, that looks so sick. But yeah, these have like some insane stats right now. But yeah, these look freaking awesome. And they have some really good stats as well. And I believe they have a special effect. But yeah, dude, I was just trying to get one Infernal weapon and we already got it in the first inventory, dude. That was actually crazy. All right. Well, that's pretty much my goal done. I, don't, I would even mind if I don't get an Infernal Weapon now. So yeah, you can spam click these. And, oh damn. We just got regular God Boost. Three Stone Skate Boxes though. And some PKP tickets. Rip. Right, I lost 20 keys. So Infernal Weapons are actually some of the most expensive items in game as well. I mean, these regular God Bows are decent as well. But yeah, the Infernal Bow is just way better. We literally didn't get any Infernal Weapons from the other keys. So they are very rare, as you can see. Amulet Fury and Guthans Chainscut, rest in peace. And I think we got a 5k mix as well. All right, so last of all, we have the Raid Mystery Boxes. So these are our most expensive box in the store right now. So they're worth around $15 each. So you should be expecting some really good loot. Like they have some exclusive party hats, like the Rainbow Party hat um, that you can't get anywhere else. And also the Black Party hat, like the Rainbow Party hat is around $200. So if you get one of those, then you basically made bank. They also have spirit shields, which I don't believe are in the Stonescape boxes. So you can get like a Legion, Divine, Arcane, which go for a lot of money in game as well. So you can get a Kevit as well, apparently. Oh, oh my god, we're so close on the Armadale God Sword. I believe you can quick open these as well. So, oh shit, we just hit the jackpot of the Armadale Crossbow. All right, not bad. Band of Tattered. So as you can see, like you hardly get Barris pieces from these ones. You tend to get some really good loot. Ancient Wyvern Shield. I think that's the first one that we've had on the account. The primordial crystals, but yeah, you literally never get junk from these, whereas from the Sunscape boxes, you usually get like Barra's items and stuff. So, although you can still get Barra's items, like I just got Tauric Town right there. But yeah, you usually do get better loot. And Trident, all right. So I think we a lot of the loot is the same as the uh, Sunscape mystery boxes, so it's all going through that tab. Heavy Ballista, that's pretty decent. Armed Chestplate, chest plate, Armed Gold Sword. Is that our first one? God damn, dude. Oh, we just got another Armadale Crossbow as well. Oh, we got an ornament. Oh my god, we just got a Black Halloween mask. No fucking way, dude. Dude, the, I don't think the Black Halloween mask is even in the store. Like, that might be the first one in game. That is so rare. Holy shit. <laughs> I must go for so much, but oh, we just got an Elder Maul. Holy shit. Dude, even this guy's like that Halloween. And the last one, Darek's Helm. Rip. <laughs> Yeah, we got some new items there. And okay, so our last 14 raid mystery boxes. Armadale Chestplate, Armadale Crossbow, Anguish. All right, come on. We're literally just getting Paris pieces now. <laughs> Tanzite Hell though. At oh, Abyssal Tentacle. And our last one, oh, Carol's Coif. So yeah, I'll show you guys quickly all the loot that I got overall from those boxes. So this is from the Infernal boxes, so just some Dagon High pieces. We got like eight sets overall, a lot of God Bows, one Infernal weapon, which I'm really happy about, and an Amulet Fury. Um, this is from the Raid Mystery boxes, so a lot of it is in the uh, Stonescape Mystery box tab, but we got an Armed of God Sword, Ancient Weapon Shield, Amulet Torture, Ring of Suffering, Banner's Chestplate, pretty decent loot. So I think this was from the Stonescape Mystery boxes. We got a blowpipe, some internal crystals, pretty decent loot. This is from the Infernal boxes, so five Zilliana Godways, and those are some of the best weapons game. And those are mixes, like these mixes actually sell for a decent amount of cash as well, to be fair. And this is initially from the Dragon Hunter boxes, I believe, and we got some really good loot from that as well, including a pet ring dragon, which looked awesome. Alright, so last of all, I just want to show you guys the uh, custom armor sets that we have real quick. So this is the Blood Justicia, and... First of all, it looks awesome, and it has some really good stats as well, plus 15 strength bonus on it. Alright, next of all, we have the Forketh set, so this is kind of like a hybrid armor. So it has some insane range bonus, and it has some melee strength bonus as well, so it looks pretty damn cool as well, like exactly like Forketh. Alright, next up, we have the KBD armor, so yeah, you look like a freaking beast in this one as well. And I believe it has some range bonus, and... A really high defense bonus, but yeah, it's mainly just for range. All right, so this is just Torva, same as Pre-OC, so it's currently not available in game yet. We did have next armor dropping from Trials of Zarek, but Trials of Zarek is currently disabled, so yeah, it does look pretty awesome as well. All right, so this is full Celestial, so as you can probably guess, this is a type of mage armor, and it does have some really high magic bonuses as well, and it looks absolutely sick. So as you can tell, we only have customs that actually fit in really well with those rest. Like, we don't have any stupid customs, like there's no pink dildos or there's no Pikachus just running around. Like, they do fit in really well. So this is full Supreme Void. So basically what this does is, although you can't really see it from the stat effects here, it has a plus 20% damage bonus 
which is 10% higher than the Elite Void. And this helm acts as all three helms, so you don't have to switch helmets for magic, melee, or range. You can just have this one helm on. I do believe you need the Void Gloves with it as well, though. All right, so we've got three boxes left. So this is one of my favorite ones, the Tekton armor set. Now, this one looks absolutely awesome like they need to add this armor to us first dude it literally looks so good but this has some insane melee armor stats like plus 26 strength bonus for the full set and some insane defense stats as well so yeah this armor set is overpowered as hell all right this is the krill armor set so it sort of just looks like recolored ancestral to be honest it does look really good plus 79 magic bonus on that as well all right and last of all the vertus set so this is also just <laughs> vertus from uh pre oc pretty much and it does look awesome so yeah those are all the armor sets. But yeah, it's literally like 8 a.m. right now. I literally just woke up and there's still like 196 players online right now. A lot of them are at the AFK zone, which like I said in my starter guide, can make you some really easy money. So if I take a look at these people, like, god damn, dude, there's a lot of people here. So yeah, instead of logging out, just AFK here. And I'm not gonna lie, that's probably like 80 players right here. So in total, there's probably still like 120 players like actually playing the game, which is still a lot of people. So especially at 8 a.m. So there's obviously gonna be like 300 plus online tonight. So if you haven't already, then do definitely come try out Zonescape. It is going places. The link to it can be found in the description below. Come try it out today. Make sure you join our Discord as well. And don't forget to be in for that giveaway at the start of the video. So really hope you guys enjoy the video. Try out Zonescape. And now it's time to make the giveaway results from the previous video. So good luck to everyone. So my last video is actually giving away five Dragon Hunter mystery boxes. So the first winner is Uwu. The second winner goes to Soziak. Yo, happy new year to you, TD. Third winner is anything. Fourth winner is Woodlogs. And the fifth and final winner goes to Vlad. So those are our five winners. To claim your prizes, just message me on Discord. Link to my Discord and the Sionscape Discord can both be found in the description below. So make sure to join both of those. And anyway, guys, I do really hope you enjoyed watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a happy new year.